What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Mr. CK VJ and you guys are tuning into VJ HD today. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, it feels so good to do that. I haven't done that in a long time. So if you're new here, please make sure to do me that favor and click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can miss every time, like any of my videos, every single time I upload you. You get what I'm saying? And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Guys, I'm back with reaction videos. You know, I, I I tweeted and I posted on Instagram, also on YouTube, if you guys want me to do reaction videos again. Especially for this December and you guys see it. Yes, all over the place. You understand what I'm saying? So guys, we're back with another reaction video. Let's not waste any time and let's get into this video. I mean, you already read the title, so let's go. We are going to be reacting to this video posted by Jubilee. So the name of the video is um, What is sex like for straight women? Guys, when I saw this, I, I knew that if a lot of people see this video, they'll definitely click on it. So this is actually my reaction video. I want to watch this video with you guys. So let me not waste any more time and let's get into the video. So please make sure that you've already subscribed. You get what I'm saying? So let's go. What does it feel like when a man penetrates you? Can you explain it in a way where men can understand? Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> Guys, can I be honest? Like, I've always wanted to know how do women feel like when they um <clears throat> having intercourse, you know what I'm saying? So, so I haven't like, so let me just get this out of the way. I'm a virgin, okay? I'm a virgin, so... Yeah, I'm a virgin. So let's continue. Like, I always wondered, how do straight women feel when they like, you know, when they're doing it, you know what I'm saying? Sex aid, straight women, okay? Did your first time hurt? <laughs> I do remember it being a pleasant experience, but it was painful. And I was sore for like, days after. No, it didn't hurt at all, actually. It was really careful about it, and he made sure to ask me if it did hurt or not. Yeah. I wasn't used to have any, having anything in my vagina. Like, I didn't even use tampons at wow. the time. I didn't have bleeding, anything like that. It was, like, very great. We did it. It was done. Got burritos <laughs> after. It was very enjoyable. I wish there was some sort of education on, like, more of the emotional side, because after, like, my first... It took me so long to even, like kiss anyone again just because it felt very odd to me because this was like something that had been reserved for one person for a very long time oh and like I was trying to navigate like dating and relationships and I felt like I couldn't have a normal relationship because any man coming on to me even if that's what the setting was even if it's something that oh, I would have wanted to do heart. it just felt wrong to me wow. What does it feel like when a man penetrates you? Can you explain it in a way where men can understand? Yes. Oh boy. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best for a man. When you really have the urge to go to the bathroom, <laughs> that feeling, that like relief, except for it's the reverse. You don't like feel it in one spot. It kind of like, you feel it. You know when you have to like, you put like what? a like a lid on something. What? It's like oddly satisfying when you put a lid on a jar of pickles. And <laughs> did I really just describe it as that? Do you ever <laughs> worry your vagina doesn't look normal? Yes. <laughs> I felt like I didn't have a normal vagina. Not anymore. I definitely did at one point because then I would hear like this whole rhetoric about like. Guys, this is weird. Like honestly, this is weird. This is wow. Okay, but these questions are really interesting, especially the penetration one. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's just really interesting. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, okay. Dumb! Shoot, nigga! <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's go. Roast beef or whatever, and I was like, my vagina kind of does look like roast beef, and I don't know why that's a problem. If you're on birth control, how does it affect your body? So it's not something I'm currently on, but when I was on it, it, 
I believed that it was clear my acne because that's something I heard for a long time, but it did the complete opposite. It made it worse. I for sure had mood swings, and I feel like that's not who I am at all. It might take you several different tries with birth control to find one that works for your body. For me, I loved the NuvaRing. My sister tried the NuvaRing. She gained like 15 pounds Damn. and hated it. The main thing yeah. is to make sure. You know, the thing is with birth control, one thing I've, 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 I've noticed, like I know a couple of girls that are on birth control. Some were like skinny, now they're like all fat and all of that. Some have like, you know, acne, like a lot of pimples. I don't know, man. So, so some, it treats them well, but I don't know, probably they might have side effects, like maybe when they want to have a baby or something, maybe then. But like, I know for, 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 it's not the same for like every, every female, you know, that's one thing that I know, you know, but I'm not an expert on birth control and vaginas and all of that, cause, cause I'm a virgin. Yeah, I am. So yeah you're always taking it because I have a tendency to forget and that's when it really messes you up. With the implant, um, I bled for almost a year straight. So that wasn't fun at all. If you have any like questions, just talk to a doctor about it. Sex on your period, how? <laughs> ah, in all caps, ah! Um, never have I ever. Well, I did have my period for a year straight. So that's something I had to figure what? out. You gotta use a towel and This is true. Okay, ladies, if you're watching this, ne, um, any of you please answer this question for me in the disc in, in the comments. Is it possible for women to have uh, periods for a whole year? Because she's saying that she had a period her period for like the entire year. I mean, no way, man. Is it is it possible, yes or no? Please, please answer for that for me in the comments below. No. Honestly, it feels better because your hormones are so all over the place that it's kind of... Yes, and how, if you, if, ladies, if you've had sex on your period, how does it feel like, if you like, you know what I'm saying, like, if you like, how do you feel inside your, your insides, you know what I'm saying, like, how do you feel, like, just please answer that for me, that's the last, qu I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to ask more questions, but like, yeah. It's, it's not as, it's not as bad as everyone thinks it is. Personally, to me, sex on my period just seems uncomfortable because I'm already cramping up a lot. You're already really sensitive by your vagina. Things like diva cups and different types of period products, per se, that can go inside of you and you can have mess-free, that's how they advertise it, mess-free period sex. Is it normal to masturbate? I know some people who would say, no, it's not, and I disagree wholeheartedly. I feel like people who are like, I don't master my house, I don't watch, I don't do anything, that builds up. And I feel like masturbation is a way to kind of let it out. Yes, it, it's normal because I do it. If you don't believe me, I have a video called Addicted to Masturbating. So please go check it out. I mean, I don't know, there's gonna be like a, there's like a card somewhere that's gonna appear. Oh, I'm gonna link it in the description, guys. Watch my video, please. Like, it's a TLC special, you know, it's a TLC special. So please make sure to watch. That's what I'm saying. Let's just finish this real quick. Do it probably every day. <laughs> Have you ever questioned your sexuality? Yes. I went through like a whole no, questioning phase. I like, would I ever really be attracted to another woman? I think that's very normal for people to go through. Even just like coming to terms with the fact that you're straight. I had one very strong crush on a girl, but I think it was more of an infatuation. <laughs> but just the way she looked, I wanted to look like her more so than be with her. Have you ever had an orgasm? I have not. Yes. Yes, <laughs> growing up, especially during puberty, okay. there was sort of like this feeling of shame tagged around girls um, going through puberty and feeling horny. Like if I felt a little horny, I was like, oh no, like this isn't normal. If I'm horny, I just sit through it and I don't do anything about it and I wait till it passes. Damn. But because of that, like later my body like just, when it's like about to orgasm, my body like shuts down. It's like, no, nope, you're not gonna, that's, and that's just, my mind blocking it, which is something I'm working on. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Hmm. One time in my early days. <laughs> Cause I felt so bad, <laughs> but never again. I felt like a shame that I was taking too long. You kind of have this expectation that you're gonna act like 
the girls in the pornos. Is it important to find a partner that can make you orgasm? If they can't make you orgasm at first, I think you should find a partner who's willing to learn and adjust to what you want so that you both can have a better time. And I think if they learn to adjust to what you like, then they're a partner worth having around. And it's, that's the partner you want to have sex with. For so long, I was with partners. I mean, for five or six years when I was first having sex, I was with partners again and again that never made me orgasm. But I also didn't know how to make myself orgasm. So I wasn't masturbating. I wasn't communicating with my partners. I didn't know what positions were turn-ons for me. I had to have a conversation with him because I'm like, I'm lying. I'm lying to me. I'm lying to him. The whole experience just could be so much better. And so I remember he was laying in bed. We had the conversation and he was saying, he's like, oh my She's God, actually so, really so it's not necessarily important like, for me to be with right. a partner that makes me orgasm, but it is important for me to be with a partner that prioritizes my pleasure. Do you feel like you mostly just accommodate men and what they want during sex? I definitely get like nervous in the sense of like, am I performing well? Am I doing a good job? At first, yes. As I started to be with more people, I started to realize, I started to ask, well, what do you want me to do? What do you like? And I was like, what do, what do I like? <laughs> That's, I don't know. What do you consider assault or rape? I think I may have been, but I don't exactly know. Yes. Mm. That's a deep question. Oof. I know a lot of people are taught rape or assault is this big, scary, aggressive thing. It could be something like s with someone you're really comfortable with or someone you considered yourself to trust. Huh. Is it okay if I talk about an assault? Because like my first time was like a coercion kind of situation. I knew at some point I wanted to do it with that person, but I just didn't feel like I was ready per se. And I was pressured into it, which was something that like, we're not really taught, taught about like coercion and stuff like that in school and really the depth of consent. So I didn't really have that understanding. Like I, just because I did say yes eventually and it did end up going that way, that that's not okay. So many of us have this question. I've had very personal conversations with dear friends who didn't come to terms with the fact that they had been assaulted or raped until five or six years later. If you can afford or if your insurance covers it, get some professional advice and guidance on this because this is a question that really needs to be talked about more. And then last question, what is something that you wish you learned in sex That girls masturbated. The range of consent and what is no. I wish I was taught more about sex not being such a shameful thing for women. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's Damn. Okay, I guess that's it guys. That's that's my video. You know what I'm saying? So please if you enjoyed this video with me. You know there's a couple of things maybe we could like further discuss, but like we can only have that conversation on the comment section down below. You know what I'm saying? So guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and comment down below some of the some of the interesting things that you saw that I also saw you know, like saying, don't forget to answer the questions that I asked. Ladies, please answer those questions for me, you know what I'm saying? If you guys want to continue the conversation, especially about assault and rape, you can either tweet to me at VJHD on Twitter or Instagram me at VJHD on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Or you can just comment down below here. I'll be there replying to all of your comments. Thank you for watching. My name is Ben Jose, aka VJHD, and y'all are with you. Stay safe, enjoy the rest of your holidays. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year. You know what I'm saying? I'll see you on the next video. Let's go.